What's up, my pile? It's Angry Poncho here. Welcome back to Ocarina of Time Out of Order. It has been a hot minute since we played last. So, uh... Let's do, let's do the, let's do the, uh, Shadow Temple early glitch just to get our, just to get our blood flowing again. And for, uh, completion's sake. You know, just have it in this video so that people, if people are looking for this Shadow Temple, they'll find this right at the start. Face the wall, right? So, take out our hookshot. Press A so it's in our hand. Target this wall, turn to the right, back walk into this corner, side hop, roll, continue holding L, press up, and then mash the uh, hookshot button after we bonk. So side hop, roll, hold up, hold mashing. And now after three times of bonk, Link pulling out the hookshot, we can try and time a hookshot pull so that we go flying up into the air. That was really early, let's try again. Nope, oh, that was late. It's fine, if that happens, you just have to line it up again. The worst part about failing it that way is that you have to wait for Link to do this three times again because it's not until the third time that you can do it because his idle animation actually takes a second to get settled down. And then once we're up here, six side hops to the left. We get ISG off of the Poe. And then we run over here. We can do our very best not to fall off at the little lip there. Or the little corner, rather. But ISG won't let us fall off to the right, so... As long as we don't go too crazy off to the left, we'll be fine. Boom! And we don't even need to use a glitch to get into the temple, because... We already have... Uh, Din's Fire, so we've already opened the temple. Let me go ahead... And do this to get a fairy here. Because later on in this dungeon, I'm going to need to do a Mega Flip, and I'm bad at Mega Flips. So, I'm going to want to have extra health there, just in case I screw that up a lot. Alright, now that we're warmed up, let's go to the Shadow Temple. So this is going to be a fun one, because we kind of have some of the items for this dungeon. And we're going to be able to skip most of it with just our sword, which is pretty hilarious. So, first off... I believe this first gap you can actually skip with a mega flip, but since we already have the hook shot, just because it's kind of it's required to get around most places as adult link, we'll just go ahead and grab it. Let's we'll go ahead and use that here. And then here again, uh why is that open? That shouldn't be open. Why is that open? Did I oh I must have Did I I must have opened it and then, like, saved. Oh yeah, the torches are on. Well, shit. Well, I wonder if this will let me move it. Let's see. Yeah, okay, it'll, it'll let me try again, even though I already have done it. So, this is normally how you open that. So, it looks like it's going to let me actually do it, so let's go for it. So, it's point this... Oh, it will not let me? Really? It gave me the message? Wow! Okay, well, I won't be able to show that, I guess, but it's really simple. Uh, normally, you have to guess which of these five uh, skull-topped torches you got to point this guy towards. And if you use the Lens of Truth, it's really obvious because only one of them has a real skull, the rest are all fake. So you just point him at that. But without the Lens of Truth, it's a little harder. I can give you some tips. Uh, it's never these two that are closest to the gap. So these two that are farthest to the right here. Uh, it's never those two, uh, so it's not this one, and it's never going to be this one either. Uh, so really you only have to go for one of these three. And if you mess it up, it's fine as long as you're wearing the hover boots, and you're kind of pushing towards the edge of the platform. When the pit opens up, you won't fall. The hover boots actually gives you enough recovery that you can get off to the side. And it doesn't even reset, so once the floor comes back up, you just try again. It's that easy. I guess my practice file overrode my other file, but it's fine. So that lets us skip uh, using the Lens of Truth there. When we come down here, we just head to the left. Normally, we would come in here and do this rupee collection game to get... Um, I believe it's a small key and there's a couple skull to those maybe around here. We don't need any of that. We're instead going to go over here, where this guy... Oops. Well, that sucks. I wanted to show something for this. I'm going to climb back up. This guy actually says, I believe the wall dude there says something like, if you want to see the the boat to another world, come closer, and then you fall in the pit. 
Well, when Link can't see the pits, he won't grab the ledge and walk like he won't drop off as though he's going down a ladder. He'll just, just kind of stumble off the ledge. But if you do it slowly enough, like by pressing against the wall and going at a slight angle like this, he'll actually fall so close to the the, the wall that he automatically grabs after he falls because he just sort of hits his like his head box, I guess, detects that he's on a ledge. Yeah, there you go. He automatically grabs. So from there, you can figure out where the ledge is. And if you drop off and then let go of the thumbstick quickly, if you press anything like up or right right now, like Link is just going to climb up immediately. But if you press nothing, let's see if I can. Link will actually stay down there, and you can just come down without having to jump. Uh, it's not a huge tip because it just saves you one heart, but I had to try this trick a bunch of times to practice it. So there you go. Okay, so now we're in the cage by the boat, right? And we're supposed to normally look out here and go like, ooh, there's a, there's like a spooky bird boat out there and we can't get to it because there's this block in the floor that's, we can't push from above. Uh, well, we don't have to. <laughs> it turns out we have the ultimate uh, in collision breaking technology, the jump slash. So this seam in between the wall where that there's sort of a metal riveted texture and the cage where it's sort of like brass bars I guess it's like rusted iron. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's very green and coppery. Anyway, the seam in between those two right here is not good. <laughs> the collision isn't quite doesn't quite reach, and it's uh, it's not even anything close to a door of time situation. But it's actually really easy to go through. So all you have to do is face this wall. I usually do the toggle lock to face straight at it, and then just kind of look a little bit to the right, just like like that much. It doesn't have to be super precise. And then get Link over here so he's kind of near to the seam, and just go for some jump slashes. Sometimes it takes a minute. You want to start kind of close to the end. Uh, but once you see Link go through, just start smashing the A button, and Link will jump, uh, do another jump slash, and you'll stay on the other side of the wall. If you don't uh, get into the second jump slash quickly enough, there it is. Uh, Link will fall off the ledge, and he'll be hanging there. If you're fast enough, you can let go of the thumbstick, uh, but you'll probably still be pushing up. <laughs> so he'll probably just immediately climb back up, clip back into the cage, <laughs> and it's like, God damn it. Now, supposedly, you can just jump onto this wheel. You can just run over here and jump and get on that wheel. I, I cannot do it. I don't know. I've tried with the hover boots. I've tried without the hover boots. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, <laughs> but... <laughs> It doesn't save that much time, so all it saves is us having to push this block. So I'll just go ahead and grab the block. I'm not too proud to push a block in a Zelda game. Uh, it has been it has been an absolutely crazy, crazy time. The last couple of weeks have been so busy for me. So many different things have uh, have happened. We've had pets come and go. We've had the my, my job get super busy. D and D has been absolutely crazy, going off in directions I did not plan for, and uh, it's just been it's been pretty much buck wild. Megan is uh, celebrating because her Etsy shop is officially profitable now. She has officially sold enough uh, minis and such that she has paid for all of the painting supplies and Etsy fees and such. So it's a pretty big road mark. Her land landmark road. Yeah, landmark. Because uh, not a whole lot of businesses ever get profitable. Like, I think most businesses fail because they aren't profitable. Like, they never reach a point where they're in the green. So for her to have done that with her little Etsy shop is just so cool to me. I'm so proud of her. And uh, honestly, it's, I'm not that surprised. Like, her, her, her minis are so cool. I'll put a link in the description if y'all want to check it out. I'm a little... I'm a little uh, I guess you could say I have a vested interest in her success, being her husband, but still, I'm telling the truth. All right, so if we go up here, uh, these salvos are actually pretty dumb. So if we go near the back of the boat, they have a, a pretty strong tendency to just walk off the edge and just, like, end it all. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't have to fight these salvos. They lag the game like crazy. So instead, you just kind of stand back here and let them, <laughs> let them find their own way in life. <laughs> How stupid they are. It's like, you can't get me if I'm sideswiping. Ah! Into the pit. 
Yeah, so by clipping through that cage, we skipped like 80% of the dungeon or something. Especially considering we had already done the first few rooms to get the hover boots early. That's uh, pretty exciting. All right. All right. So now... Is that a key door? Oh, I'm glad I noticed that. Okay. So we want to do a mega flip to go over there. But... So really what you're supposed to do is shoot one of those bombs with an arrow. And it'll knock this big pillar down and boom, come crashing down over here and it makes a bridge. Uh, I'm going to do that once I get over there, but I don't have an arrow, so I have to get over there. So we're going to do a mega flip for that. But before we bother going over there, I'm going to get ourselves the uh, the boss key. So because we already have Din's fire, we'll just use that for the, uh, the boss key room, which is one of the few places in the game where it feels like they intended you to use Din's fire. And the real proof is that they put magic in this pot. It's a guaranteed drop. That magic's always in there. So clearly they meant for you to use some kind of magic in this room. I think fire arrows might also work, but I don't really remember. There is a glitch to skip the boss key and just go straight, like... You kind of clip out of bounds with the hover boots and the big Auron sword and you go into the loading plane, but... It's... It's complicated enough. I don't know if the Redead's not guarding a key, is he? I think he has like a recovery heart or something, right? Oh, the walls are back. Cool. Let's do this again. I'm gonna check just to make sure. I know one of the other rooms has a key. Let's see. Oh, he's on fire. That's so sad. Yeah, it's just money. Okay, that's what I thought. One of the many bloopies that you seem to forget about when you're playing normally, but constantly find when you're playing randomizer. Well, considering that we do need a key, I guess I'll go in this room over here. I believe this is the rotating platform room. Yeah, I think we just gotta toss a few bombs to get a key in here. No big deal. Oh, but does this room have a guaranteed bomb drop? That would be awesome, actually, if we're struggling with the... Oh, it has bomb flowers. That works, too. Now that we have the silver gauntlets, we can pick these up, no problem. Nope, I gotta go for the middle. If I remember correctly, a couple of these have enemies in them and one of them spawns the key. I guess we'll see. Maybe you have to get all three. Yeah, it made like the wrong noise. <laughs> and it sound like I killed a bat. Interesting. But magic, okay. No, it's still not what I want. <laughs> I'm here for the key, my guy. Oh, that was just barely outside. Right off the rim. Let's go for this one. No, it's far too far away. Damn it. It's one of those rooms where once you get off cycle, you have to wait for it to go around an extra time. Just wait. There we go. Nailed it. I don't even go down there and get the key. Which I think just, it's one of the few keys I believe that just falls straight on the ground. Is that right? Wait, what is this? Just rubies? Did the key already? Am I dumb? Does the key come from killing all the bats? I honestly don't remember. All right, let's see here. Hello. Is there a bat over there? Or is the texture just glitchy? Nope. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> what? I don't remember there being a room that's just rupees. I don't know why I collected that. I mean, I guess we could use them, but whatever. Am I? Am I, am I really just losing it? And this room just has a skull to look in. Is that what's happening right here? What in the hell? I don't see any bats. Uh, okay. Let's try the other room. I don't remember what's going on in here. And I'm legitimately confused by it. Very strange. We'll just try the next one. Pardon me, sir. 
Oh my, what long fingers you have. Well, this ring better have something in it. Oh. Ah. I was gonna say, I can still fight this guy even if he's invisible, right? Did I get all three? Believe it or not, I could actually hear him because of the stereo sound. I knew he was over on the right. Yeah, this room is probably a faster way to get a key anyway, if that's what this is, so. I'm trying to remember, I think there's another room with rotating pots earlier in the dungeon that has a key in it. And that must be what I'm thinking of. In case there's a heart, yes, thank you. That's an extra attempt at the mega flip, which I am bound to fail a few times, so. Is this where the wall is? Yeah, gotta go this way. And around to heal. Alright, so now we have the boss key and one small key. And we are ready to start failing Mega Flips. So for those who don't remember, the order of operations for Mega Flip is pull your sword out, backflip, and pull a bomb in the air. And then while the bomb is going off, you just wait, holding your shield. And right when it's about to explode, you neutral roll. Oh, I gotta put my sword away. Backflip, pull a bomb, neutral roll into the bomb, backflip out of the explosion, and that actually won't reach. We need to put on the hover boots <laughs> right after we do the backflip part so that we get enough height and we can continue sliding along for longer without falling. So this might take a minute. I'm going to save. Uh, unfortunately, if I run out of bombs or, or just die and like use all my hearts and my fairy and then die again um <laughs> i will just have to start over from the top start of the dungeon because it's not going to put me uh, at this end it's going to put me at the entrance of the temple so uh here's hoping i can get this uh, on the first couple tries so i'm gonna line it up i'll go through the process once and then i'll cut to me either getting it or having to start over and i usually go forward like about this much all right put the sword away Backflip, bomb. Oh, I'm too close. Oh, well, as we start. <laughs> yeah, it's backflip, bomb, roll, backflip, switch to switch to hover boots. Let's get at least one decent attempt in before I cut to the montage here. Okay. Oh, I was too close. If you're close enough to pick up the bomb, you're too close to the bomb. There we go. Oh, I'm still too close. I, ooh. Please work. Oh, it was close. It was a mega flip, but we we were already... I think we were already falling when we put the boots on. And I, I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can do it with the, with the regular boots or with the hover boots on. I guess I can just try doing it with hover boots already on. But it's going to change the way, like, my backflip distance and stuff. Yeah, see what I mean? It's fucking me up. I'll give this a couple tries. <laughs> Get hit by the bomb and then independently backflip into the pit like an idiot. <laughs> so I'm sure some of you are thinking that there are other solutions here. I could play the Scarecrow song and make Pierre appear. Well, that would be cool, except I don't know the long shot, so there's no way I'd be able to reach him over there. I have already tried firing a bomb chew across the bottom of the pit like we did in the Spirit Temple. It blows up like down there-ish, so it's not even close to reaching right from the edge it doesn't reach. There might be a way with some really like careful, like precise angle to run a bomb a bomb chew like along the ceiling and then down over there, but I kinda doubt it. At this point, the option I'm looking at is backwalking with the hover boots up to this point, and then trying to turn around at the last second to grab the ledge. Because I don't think I'd actually make it. So if this doesn't work, I'm just going back to the beginning of the dungeon. Oh, so close. <laughs> then not falling in the pit. 
Oh no! I gotta go in and out of that door. I gotta ride the fucking boat again. Shit. Hey look, I did a mega flip, guys, watch. Out the door, fuck! <laughs> You're only pretending to fight. C buttons. Back in my day, we only had two buttons to equip items on, and one of those was for your sword, and we liked it. Drink your milk, kids. Otherwise, the government subsidies of the dairy industry will be for nothing. Ooh, 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 it's even earlier in the flip. Let's go, boys. Uh, I'm starting to think putting the back, the boots on mid-back flip might just not work. I'm gonna have to do the whole thing with the boots. Let me just get a little... Little test here. Yeah, indeed, that does nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, we have to do the whole thing with the boots. Well, do we even get? We don't even get a hover if we backflip in the boots, right? Don't we just get like yeeted? No, it does work. Okay. It will activate. Hmm. Okay. All right. So it's possible. It's possible. Cows, give me your power! Oh, it doesn't work. The fuck? Okay, so I found a video online that's giving me some hope here. It looks like there's a way to do this with a bomb tube. So, we target this wall, uh, slash to back up, spin and shield to hold the angle. Side hop, walk forward a little bit, and then shield drop a chew. Let's see if that works. Oh, it's promising. It's very promising. Oh. My. God. It fucking works. Shout out to Dotzo on YouTube. Link in the description for the video where I did that. Where I learned how to do that. Holy cow. Uh, that's easier than a fucking mega flip, that's for sure. Wow. Okay, cool. Well, in either case, I looked it up online. There's a few ways to get across here, actually. You can do a mega side hop from up there, or you can do a super slide extended with the hover boots. Uh, those are both hard. This was really easy. And it only cost one bomb chew. Hmm. I have a fairy, right? Okay. Because, uh... I'm not super confident in my ability to beat this boss without the lens of truth, but uh, fingers crossed. Oh, fuck. Oh, I didn't plan for this. I don't know how to get across this room. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, isn't there like another platform on the right? -ish? Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, fuck. I'm going to use all my health dying to this room, dude. No! <laughs> Alright, let's just go ham. We'll, we'll go left this time, though, instead. Huh. Okay, Whew. it works. Well, we've made it this far, folks. Let me see here. Do we have... Yeah, we have a fairy. That should be, that should be fine. I'll be fine! Jump slash to store that damage. Wish me luck, folks. I did not practice this. I do not know if I can beat this boss without the Lens of Truth. Pretty sure I just need to aim where it is because it's always there. It's just invisible. So once he puts his hands up, I can 
stun one, stun the other, and then aim in the space where his eye should be and hopefully get it right. Uh, I'm having some trouble using the hook shot here. There's one. Ooh! <laughs> oh, he got, he got me. He got me, folks. I believe that's the part where I'm supposed to use my. Uh... Wow, the hookshot really does not work while he's drumming, is it? No! Free me, you bastard! Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta stop. <laughs> is his head just there? Can I just aim for that? Two, and then where is he at? Okay, got him. No! Alright, alright. Just hold it. Hold it together. Hold it together. We can do this. Fuck! Fuck, he's going for the same move. Uh. Alright, where is he at? Okay, here we go. Damn, I don't, know, I don't know the rhythm to stun lock him, so I'm gonna have to do a few cycles. It's all right, we'll get it. His eye is just right. Uh... Oh, that was a whiff. Oh fuck. Oof. Oh. Okay. All right, we're good. No, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh no, no, I wanted him to die right there. That would have been much better for me. Okay, what are we doing? Oh! Watch out, son. Oh! Uh, we're back in this cycle. Hello. You good, buddy? Oh fuck, I changed my mind midway! No, no! No, 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 no! No, dude! I didn't bring enough milk! Bongo Bongo is defeated. I didn't even use a fairy the second time, so yeah, I think I just got a little bit, uh, a little bit out of sorts. Uh, I should have realized that now that I had knocked the pillar over out there, all I had to do was come back to the boss room. There wasn't actually anything hard to do in between here and there. <laughs> I don't have to do any of the skips. Like <laughs> literally, it's all there. So. Not so bad, not so bad. Well, uh, maybe my New Year's resolution for next year will be to get good at mega flips, but for now, fuck them, because I'm done with this temple. Let's get the hell out of here. And uh, next episode, since we have the Shadow and Spirit Medallions, we will head off to Ganon's Castle. Yeah, that's right. We're not going to beat the game, though. We're just, we're just going to go and do the trials, because we can. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait a minute. Should we? Oh, no, we've met in a Peru. This cutscene is boring. Bye! Did I say Nibiru? I met Impa. We've, we've met Impa.